Um, the statistical dam was really fought for. We came out the statistical dam about 10, 15 years back. It was one of our original statisticals that started the group. I was one of them, and Andrea. She's our, one of our elders. <laughs> I knew these girls when they, when they, as they grew up. So I used to see them, and I used to, you know, I just, I used to just feel proud, and I used to just look at them. And as they grow up, you know, in the army, the thing. Well, Andrea was one of our support, one of our elders, sister girls, actually. She grew me up, actually, and I didn't even know that I was a sister girl until I met my big sister, and she took me into her care and showed me around family, but still in a cultural way, too. You know, we dress up and listen to our elders. But we had to fight really hard for our acceptance, you know, to dressed in lady clothes, walk around like a lady. But it was really hard too, but when we got the sister girl name, it was really open, you know, open out there. Yeah, it took time for us to be accepted here and coming out. Um, right, right now we're out and I'm happy and my sister is getting old and <laughs> I'm taking her step, her footstep now. Well, before we only had a little small number, about 16 to 18. Now we've got a really big number, about 34, 35, including the little ones coming up that we recognize and some we don't recognize, but now some coming up and recognizing their self as sister girl because we came out you know, just want to be open and like a normal person. So it's going to get bigger and bigger. Yes, the number is going to get more bigger and bigger. I can't wait to see that happen. But this is our, our largest group is about between 30. Yeah. That's how much we took down the first Mardi Gras. And they're all in this town or all over the yeah. island? All over the island. But the main population of sister girls are here and brothers. We've only got a I've been a few over at Melbourne Island, uh, Melbourne and Garden Point. Oh, heaps, heaps better. We're being recognised everywhere now. We've got our own little um, sewing thing coming up. Can't wait for that. Um, we've got support from everyone, you know, family, friends, even at the workplace. Everything just changed you know, ever since we started coming out you know, 10 years ago. That's when we was having suicide from our sister girls and they started to recognize us, you know, and started to come and comfort us and that's all the changes been happening you know, after a couple of our girls had committed suicide. Yeah. And now that now it's changing, it's happy for me too. I'm really happy that everything has changed, you know, and they accept us now. fit in with our culture too as well. Some of the sister girls just dance with dresses on or dance the lady way they want to dance. They accept too. You know. I prefer just dancing as a man, you know. And then later after culture, we've got time to be a sister girl then. <laughs> so it's very fluid. Yes. Mm. Like we can be accepted in our manhood and then when we wanted to be covered to our sister girl group, well, you yeah. know. Our, our cultural way, it's like we have to be one part Tiwi and then I don't know where this other part came out from, you know, it's just inside, it's the feeling and it's generating, coming to come out, you know, and I want that to be part of our culture, but some of the cultures were not meant to break. That's really great, you know, to um, share our culture with another sister girl group, you know, that's not non-indigenous, you know. I want to share my culture and you know, art through me from, as a sister girl, you know. Um, 
Well, who? The big exciting news was last year they went to Mardi Gras. <laughs> it was just like everyone wanted to like a piece of us. And I we couldn't even give, give, give. give it. it was like <laughs> breathtaking. <laughs> you gonna come out from Amsterdam, I hope. Yes, I want to go over there. I want to take all my girls there. Hopefully, it'll be really good. Maybe we'll have more attention there too. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yes, I would love to go to Amsterdam. If, if anyone out there in Amsterdam, please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs>